Hello YouTube, it's Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. It's Wednesday, hump day, June 7th, 2017. We didn't have a pocket dump deconstruction. We didn't have anything yesterday. Nor did I post really on Instagram. I don't think I post anything on Instagram. Um, yeah, sometimes life gets in the way and got to take care of life. So, but we're back. It's the pocket dump deconstruction for today. Again, hump day, Wednesday. Hope all of you are doing well. Today, I'm going with my uh, Mont Blanc chronograph. People always want me to give them more information about this watch. And you want to know something? I always want to give you more information about this watch. <laughs> but uh, right now, uh, I don't have any information about it. I bought it at a Mont Blanc store in an upscale mall in Atlanta, Georgia, about 20 years ago. And uh, so there you go. It just has Mont Blanc on it. Um Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, after yesterday, yeah, one of my beloved Bahikes are going down tonight after work. <laughs> Plain and simple. After all the meetings, after all of that stuff, it's going down, okay? Uh, I can't wait to smoke this. Just a brilliant cigar. And that's why I had to get Macallan 18. To drink with it. <laughs> um, the uh, pen for today is another shown design pen. This is the full tie version of the pen. One of my Mont Blanc skinny wallets. I know the light on this video looks a little hot, but eh, it'll get better. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying, folks. And uh, today we're, we have for the coin the 2016, 2016 proof American Silver Eagle. That's our one ounce silver coin. Um, and I've been collecting them since we started in 1986. The U.S. started having one ounce silver coins. We're behind a lot of other countries. But I love it. The design is beautiful. From 1986, I have what we call, whoops, I have what we call, um, see, why was I going to talk about this and I'm not ready? Uh, slabbed. I have all of them slabbed, both the regular proof, the special runs, everything. Um, so I just want to make sure you know, they are worth what you see silver is worth. And some of the collectibles, like the collect, you know, special things are worth a little more. But I just want my kids and my grandkids to have all of them. They're fun to collect every single year. Um, but I'm putting that in my pocket for good luck. I'm a mess this morning. Let's talk about the knives. My super blue ladybug that I really enjoy having man this thing cuts great most of you know more about steels and all of that than i do uh i just like knives i have i get every now and then on instagram and youtube when i show some knives they go you you're gonna sell those you're gonna sell those right now i'm a i collect them and don't sell them at some point when i sell it'll be the entire collection <laughs> the 450 or something knives so that I can get a sports mobile or something. Since next month I'm 58 years old. I'm starting to think about that stuff. Um, so at some point. But right now. No. Uh, but this is really a nice. You guys know I love ladybugs and man bugs. I think they are the perfect keychain knife. They're the perfect knife just to drop into your the little jeans pocket. Uh, that you have a little change pocket or in a pocketbook or whatever just so nice and handy frn uh, scales fiberglass reinforced nylon scales which are just so tough and then this these are sprint runs so they're out you got to get them on the secondary market it took me a long time i just got this this year 
<laughs> and I've looked at others. I've seen all the other collection. Man, people overprice this so much. And that's why a lot of times when sprint runs come out nowadays, I grab them as soon as possible. Because I know as the years go on, the prices go crazy. But man, this thing cuts like unbelievable. Again, it's 1.9 inch blade. In this case, it's not a VG10. It's super blue uh, steel and just a wonderful knife. I was lucky to get that at the right price <laughs> for that little knife. My small knife is riddled. You know, I have this emotional attachment to these knives. I have both the large Sabenza 21 and this is the small Chris Reeves Sabenza 21 riddled. The reason I have an emotional connection, the big knife, the large riddled, was my very first Chris Reeve knife. Yep, very first. Uh, and the reason I got it, I wanted just a plain Jane, but at that time I was only getting knives from Amazon because I didn't know where else to buy knives. And all the other ones, my first Umanzan, my first uh, uh, small Sabenza 21 plain Jane uh, were all delayed for weeks. And then uh, I looked and the large riddled I could get prime the next day. And I was so excited. I finally had enough money to get a Sabenza. I did that. And then later I got the companion piece. This is the small. It's called riddled because it looks like the show side scale is riddled by bullets. You see that? It's so well done too, all jagged and everything. Not enough to cut you, just looks jagged. Um, has a little target. But the great thing is, you know, you see all of these custom knives and production knives. The big thing is to put holes on the front scales to kind of lighten it and also because it looks cool. This is badass. You get the holes that look like bullets gone through, lightens it up a little bit and just a real nice knife. It's the small riddle, 2.9 inch S35 VM steel blade and just a nice thing with riddled. You know, I, except for Damascus etched um, blades, I don't have a lot of etched uh, Sabenzas. I've got 58, 59 Sabenzas. I love inlays, I love all that. I'm not that, the unique series doesn't do anything for me. That's why you don't see any in my collection. I, I admire them from afar. Some of them I go, that's great. I just haven't had a thing to own them, but I love the riddled. I really do. It's just badass. Plus, I have that emotional thing. I wasn't looking for a riddled Sabenza. I just knew that was the one I could get. This is just a nice, I'm going to call them Swish. It's hard. Everyone on YouTube mispronounces the name. Uh, this is from the maker who made the Spyderco, uh Techno. S-L-Y-S-Z. Slish? Slish? I've, I've heard it pronounced a lot. But this is the Slish Bowie, and I love it. It's almost a perfect knife. This is what the Techno would be once it grew up. <laughs> perfect little brother. The handle is just so great full tie it hides everything has a little g10 back spacer um the wire clip that's just really nice that blade that traditional bowie buoy buoy or bowie depends on where you're from i guess um blade and spiderco did a very good thing they kept that whole minimal as they could. Um, and so the profile is just really nice. That Chris Reeve Interco frame lock is just perfect. It is a solid, no nonsense EDC knife. And let me tell you something, you know, it, it has the CTS XHP steel, just like the Techno does, but this is a full flat grind has nice jimping. It is just simple, but I don't know. 
That's kind of why I love my Chris Reeve plain Jane. There's something great about simplicity when you have something like a knife. Just the quality makes it special. And this is a quality knife. It's one of my top 10. I, I just really like it. Um, like I said, CTS XHP steel, 3.4 inches, 7.8 inches all together when it's laid out. Um, just a really nice knife. And that's the carry. That's going to hopefully get me over the hump. Man, this whole week has felt like a hump. <laughs> I'm telling you. Let's hope I reach the summit and start the way down uh, by the end of this day. Ugh. Beautiful outside on the east coast of the U.S., though. It's a perfect spring day. Yesterday was, too. But, man, oh, man, oh, man. And then the knife that got away, I'll tell you, I like, you know, we were just talking about the Techno. I just love these little chunky knives. This is the Hinder. This is one of the newer designs from Hinder. It's called the Hinder or Half Track. You can get it in all kinds of different scales. Blade HQ even has a, an exclusive one that carries their colors. Um, but man, I like it. It feels so good in the hand. I like smaller knives and chunky knives. I just like it. I like that while it has thick stock, S35 VN steel, it does come down to a sharp blade. And I, I love it. It does slice well, but it can also do other work. The jimping is kind of a smooth over jimping, but it does grip you just enough. It feels good good in the hand mine is full tie handles with this texture that gives you a little texture thick open construction which is great everything you've come to expect from a hinderer um, the frame lock uh, everything is just so wonderful let's see it is only right hand tip up only right hand tip up am I right yeah so uh, lefties, you don't have a lot of support for lefties, but man, it is a nice knife for me. And I like just, you know, I just love their simple pivot. I really do. There you have it. That's the Hinder 2.75 inch blade under that three inches that some people have to worry about. Um, S35 VN steel, great steel. 4.6 ounces for this little knife but man it does feel nice in the hand it really does does not feel heavy at all just a really nice knife that is the hinderer half track that's the knife that got away i got nostalgic and said no i want to carry my riddled that's it you guys that's the carry it's good to be here yesterday i just couldn't make it Everything converged on me at once. I just couldn't do any of it. And I went, you know, that's okay. Let's take care of life. <laughs> There'll be time for videos <laughs> and talking about knives. You guys are wonderful. Thank you for your ongoing support. I really appreciate it. Hey, spend a little time being selfish today. It's okay to be selfish. You know, we grow up and they go, you know, you, you don't share. You don't, you know, you're just brought into don't be selfish. Um, but you know what? And I've learned way too late. I'm going to be 58 next month. I should have learned this 30 years ago. I'd been a better father, husband, uh, son, whatever. And I'll tell you, you just got to spend a little time on yourself. All right. Just do it. You just feel better. That's why that's the cigar. That's the booze for me at the end of the day. Turn off all that fun stuff on the internet, sit and spend some time with yourself sometimes it's a scary couple of minutes but you come out feeling a lot better hey you guys take care keep those pockets full don't forget to like subscribe turn on notifications you guys have a perfect day goodbye